Today we are recording group discussion video three, the song is Love Story from uh, Taylor Swift. Now I would like to introduce myself. My name is Chu Jing. My metric number is 198526. I'm a student taking business administration, majoring in international business in the faculty of economics UPM. Hello. Uh, hello guys. My name is Zhang Yiming, you can call me Stella. My metric number is 20431. I'm from uh, faculty, modern language and communication. This is my second semester and my major is English language and uh, linguistics. Next one. Yes. Hello everyone, my name is Wang Jingtao and I'm from the Faculty of Modern Language and Communication. My metric number is 209006 and my major is English Literature. This is my first semester. That's all. Hello, my name is Tinori and my metric number is 109755. I am taking Business Administration at Faculty Economy and Management and now it's my third year. Hi, my name is Nuru Afika Binti Noyazid and my matrix number is 202911. I'm taking Bachelor of Sastra Bahasa and Linguistic Melayu at uh, Faculty of Modern Language and Communication. Uh. So Love Story is a song that I listen this for nostalgia because it's my high school favorite song. I would always like to sing with my friends in class. This song become trendy again due to the TikTok platform because uh, most people use this, this song to record some videos. I'm glad that uh, many people are coming from TikTok as the new generation know who Taylor Swift is and what a masterpiece of this song. So uh, we know we'll discuss love story, uh, this song today. So I studied a bit uh, the love story lyrics and the song meaning. So this song is uh, 11 years ago, uh, written by Taylor Swift when she was 17 years old, when her parents disapprove of a relationship she was having back then, uh, heartbroken, uh, Taylor Swift put her sadness into a song. And so this song is produced. The song was produced by Nathan Chapman and it came out as a single off of her second studio album, Fearless, released in 2008 and was released under the record label and now uh, Big Machine Records. Uh, this inspiration behind the story by Taylor Swift is um, the, the story of Romeo and Juliet uh, by the William Shakespeare. Uh, Taylor Swift said that she was going through a situation like this so she could relate. Uh, so this love story basically is like uh, her own true story she said uh, she, she's in high school where she see her boyfriend every day. Then uh, that time is not easy for her because her f family doesn't uh, dis disapprove the relationship. Um, so her song is based from the William Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, a tale that made from synonymous with underlying love. So it makes perfect sense that Taylor Swift used the same content to give life to her best romantic songs. Uh, anyone else who would, would like to share? Actually, uh, uh, Swift, there are the lovers, a love story about a man who was uh, never officially her uh, to be her brief boyfriend and when she introduced him to her family and her friends they did not uh, they did not became uh, become fond of him uh, his situation was a little complicated but he uh, she didn't care about that also sweet feel like it was the first time she could um, relate to the plot of William Shakespeare, like Romeo, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet, yeah, one of her favorite narratives, uh, which he, she described as the one 
the only people who wanted them to be together were them, and also, um, uh, the lyrics like I thought this is difficult, but it, but it's real. It matters. It's not simple or easy, but it's real. Like this uh, lyrics, she concentrated the song on the line, which was, uh, and to Milad placed in the love story, uh, second refrains like this, and also uh, at the end, Swift and her love interest uh, continued to their relationship, but then they uh, separated later. Because it was hard for them to see each other, um, to Swift the song resembles much optimism regarding love and how encountering the right person could surpass raptures. And she uh, deemed a love story one of her most romantic songs, although she was never in an official relationship with the subject of the songs. Also, um, in the uh, narratives. Romeo and Juliet were not together with them uh, at the end, but uh, in her songs, she close, uh, she chose to write a happy ending. She took her favorite characters and conceptualized the ending. She believed that they deserve it. That's all. Okay. Yes. And Sorry. 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 Okay. Thank you. <laughs> The story was uh, written by Tennessee when her parents disapproved of a relationship she had been with the boy. Uh, heartbroken of Tennessee put her sentence into a song, and this masterpiece was born. Like most of Swift songs, this was based on uh, a real experience as a teenager. She had an argument with her parents over a boy and her desire to go somewhere far away with him and escape the people who look down on them. Yes. And I heard the Taylor Swift song about, um, about eight years ago and as far as we know, the song inspired by Shakespeare's classic tragedy of Romeo and Juliet. It's similar to what happened to Taylor, and experiencing that she cannot get along with her beloved because of her parents' disapproval. But and I like Taylor Swift's song very much. She writes a lot of songs about love, but the song Love Story is about, uh, is about a lot of love problems that couples, that couples face in real life, which is parents' point of view. And, but the difference is that instead of using so she writes a different ending on her own, and it took about um, just 20 minutes to write the song. Mm, which also won a country music television award in June 2009. Mm, it was the first time that I came into contact with Taylor Song, and it was because of this love story that I fell in love with her. Yes, that's all I want to talk to. Yes, for me, um, when the song first released, I was really young, so I believe that um, at the time, Taylor Swift also very young too. So I thought this song is like fairy tale storybooks, like a teenage love where she is trying to relate her love story with the Romeo and Juliet stories. So she was getting inspired by that, and. In these songs, she changed a little bit of the story, so uh, it more relates to her lifestyle, uh, her life, so that it turns more like um, happy ending or maybe like marriage proposal kind of songs. So even after years, these songs um, has not died away. Personally, I did sing these songs like when I hang out with my friends. So. Um, I, you guys also know that uh, these songs is universally loved by almost everyone. So I think Taylor Swift um, also feels proud because this song is one of the 
uh, songs that makes her become who she is now. Yes, that's from me. So I would like to add that Taylor Swift imposes a first person narrative style to convey the message in the song. The songs are quite easy and simple and straightforward. Uh, Taylor Swift is starting a flashback with a time when she was hopelessly in love with her Romeo. But in the real story of hers is a bad ending, but she changed the love story as a happy ending in the end. So yeah. the discussion is over. Um, so thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.